This video is going to show you how to allow students to view feedback on a graded D2L quiz. By default, D2L does not show individual questions or personal feedback or correct answers to students. So if you want to allow them to see this feedback, you have to make a change to the submission views for this particular quiz. You can do this either when you're setting up the quiz or by going back to edit the quiz, which you can do by selecting edit from the drop down menu following the quiz on the quizzes list. Once you are editing the quiz, click on the Submissions Views tab, which is one over from the far right. Here you can see the default view, and the settings right now are that this feedback is released immediately to students, but not to show any questions or statistics. To change this, you click this default view link right here. Now we can manage the view properties and the view details. First of all, you can edit the message that your students will see once they've completed the quiz if you want to add something personal there. But probably you're just going to want to scroll down to the view details area. If you want students to see which questions they've missed or your individual question feedback, you're going to have to click yes in the show questions area. From there, you now have the option to specify which questions will be shown to students in their feedback. I would recommend clicking the Show All Questions with User Responses option, as this will show them both correct and incorrect answers plus your feedback. You may also want to check one or both of these boxes here. This box shows students the correct answer to quiz questions if it's checked, and checking this box shows students their score on individual questions. This box here determines whether or not students can see their overall score for the quiz, and probably you'll want to leave it checked. And if you want to show the class average or score distribution, you could check either of these boxes. Once you've got all of these view detail settings like you want them, click Save, and then click Save and Close. And now you've changed the submission view so that your students can see your feedback for questions on their quiz that they've completed.